Oh, that's new. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, really going for it. Oh, Charlie, you're not going to mess with your car. Oh, come on, come on. I've seen that one before. Oh, what is that? Oh, that's a school with security, isn't it? Oh, stare down. What do you say? Back. We knew he was going to be back, didn't we? An actual cobra. There is no Kyla. Oh, they're working together now, are they? What are you, Tango nice. and Cash? <laughs> no, Tango and Cash were narcotics detectives. Oh, I'm sorry. You do realize neither one of you are cops, right? <laughs> <laughs> I want to see more Amanda. Amanda's great. Guys. Oh, Dimitri. Wow. Bobby looks like he's gonna have a bit of a orange and a new black plot going on. Oh, Miguel's back. Is it just words or meaningless? Is that Amanda? The world isn't just gonna hang to you. What are you in the other You want something you have to crawl across the floor. Use your damn teeth if you have to. Robbie's gonna join Purple and I. I'm always gonna be right here next to you. I guess Miguel's gonna have trouble walking. Always be your teacher. Oh shit. That's alright, you felt like a champ. <laughs> Mr. Miyagi taught me everything you know. Ah, uh, this chosen. Yes, it is. Yeah. Oh, is that Miguel? Oh, he's getting married. Is he getting married to? Well, I'm not going to talk for a massively long period of time about what was in that trailer, but uh, uh, kind of interesting, you know, um, confirming a lot of things that I think fans have speculated or suspected for a while, uh, which is, uh, you know, Johnny and Daniel are going to work together, they're going to try and overthrow Chris. Um, I imagine Johnny is probably going to join Miyagi Do and. Um, possibly um, some of the students from Cobra Kai are going to follow Johnny over there. You know, you'd certainly imagine um, Miguel is going to be loyal to Johnny, although it doesn't look from the trailer like uh, we're going to see any of uh, Miguel fighting uh, this season. It looks like he's just going to be uh, doing uh, a bit of uh, learning to walk again. Kind of thing. Maybe he won't walk again. Um, maybe he'll go on a sort of Bran Stark kind of arc, and uh, his entire character arc will be based around you know him trying to find uh, his inner self maybe on something it won't be about him fighting anymore dimitri is kind of the most fascinating thing i think from that trailer you know you look at uh, in taking out hawk at that uh, soccer match uh, looks uh, very interesting looks like there's going to be a new sort of rivalry developing there you know hawk and dimitri perhaps you know it was all about sam and tori last season now it's going to be all about hawk and uh, dimitri um so you know, you'd, you'd imagine that uh, Miguel will not be going back to Cobra Kai now that Johnny's not there anymore, which would just leave Hawk and Tori as, in terms of students that we like, you know, know a lot about um, in terms of the characters. So, um, you know, the show is actually called Cobra Kai, so I think we're going to see a lot more development of them because those are characters, two characters I definitely do want to see a lot more of. Um, maybe they'll even hook up, you know, that actor could be kind of interesting. I think they'd make quite a good couple, actually, those two. Um, and, you know, Hawk definitely seems to be going down a very kind of antagonistic arc now. You know, he, he's become very much a sort of, not so much um, a bad character, but uh, he's got maybe the sort of wrong ideas about certain things. And, um, you know, Tori as well has always been played up as kind of like a, an antagonistic character that we, we still kind of like. We don't exactly root for her, but we, we enjoy her character. So they, they would match up uh, quite well. Uh, and I'd be very interested to see, um, are they going to go into a redemption arc at some point, or are they going to just go full-out villain next season um, with what they do with them, uh, you know. It would be kind of interesting, though, um, given the name of the show, if 
everybody associated with Cobra Kai is going to become a more sort of dislikable character that, you know, we maybe sort of want to see fail. Uh, of course, the other really interesting thing about that trailer is what uh, is happening with Robbie. It looks like uh, he's in juvenile. Uh, it looks like he's uh, going through some tough times there, having to deal basically with uh, prison life. You know, <laughs> are we, we going to have a bit of a an orange is a new black kind of drama going on there, or even prison break? Maybe no, I don't think he's going to try and break out. But um, yeah, you would imagine that he is going to be in there maybe for about half a season, and then he's going to come out and uh, he's going to have to try and reconnect with uh, the likes of Sam and Daniel and maybe Johnny. Who knows? Uh, kind of a very sort of complicating factor that uh, Johnny looks like he definitely has a surrogate son now in Miguel. You know, is he going to try and reconnect with his actual son? Uh, Amanda, I think that was slapping Chris at one point in the trailer. Uh, definitely want to see a bit more of her. I think you know she, she's very been very underused these first two seasons. I think she's a really interesting character. Uh, has a lot of interesting stuff to say. So I'd, I'd be interested to see a lot more of her. Uh, Chosen. Looks like looks like that's just going to be a sort of quick subplot, maybe at the start of the season. I think I don't think it's going to be any more than that. And then Daniel is going to come back and uh, be inserted into the sort of main plot uh, a little bit more. Sam Sam looks like much the same sort of character. You know, she's just going to be sort of you know adjusting to what happened uh, the school fight and dealing with that and. Uh, Maybe being happy that Miguel's okay or something, you know. I don't think we saw any scenes with Sam and Miguel. In fact, I don't think we saw Miguel with anybody other than Johnny in that trailer. So maybe Miguel's going to take a bit of a backseat again, and it's just going to be him and Johnny for the whole season, and um, all the other characters are going to have to sort of react to one another uh, in regards to that. Um, Tori, there was a shot of her inside a house, I noticed. Um, we, we didn't see her house in the first... In, in season two, rather, uh, well, I don't remember seeing it certainly. Um, so possibly we're going to see a bit more backstory with her. Uh, we saw her at Miyagi Do. That raises a lot of questions. Uh, well, what's she doing there? So yeah, a lot of interesting stuff. I'm very excited. Uh, Daniel and Johnny clearly working together to do something. We're not exactly sure at the moment what. Maybe the ultimate goal is just to overthrow Crease. I doubt that's going to happen. Uh, this season, because um, this is not going to be the last season, we know that already. Um, so yeah, I'm very excited, uh, very intrigued by what they're going to do here. I think that's a really good trailer, actually, because uh, it doesn't really sort of tell you, you know, it doesn't really spoil every, anything, but it does leave a lot. you asking a lot of questions and much more intrigued about uh, what's going to happen this season. Um, so yeah, I, I think that's a, a really good trailer, and it has me... Not so much excited for the next season, but more intrigued about uh, where certain characters are going to go. I hope most of the stuff we saw in the trailer is only from the first few episodes, though. So, uh, I don't, I don't want to feel like I've been spoiled and just shown the, like the end of the season or something. Uh, no, Ali is the sort of ob obvious uh, absentee from that. Um, so yeah, she's probably not going to be in season three. Unless maybe, you know, it's a cliffhanger. You know, she's in the final shot or something like Chris was at the end of season one. So yeah, that's that, guys. Um, I'll, I'll leave a link down in the description to the trailer if you want to watch it for yourself. And I will see you guys when uh, season three comes in January. See ya.